Six o'clock. I'd like to call this meeting order. Please rise to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, a little fast. Yeah, Public notice of this meeting pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act has been given by the clerk in the following manner. One posted on the bulletin board in the borough clerk's office on January 4th, 2017, and two emailed to the retrospective jury post on January 4th, 2017. A new discussion, new business discussion for this meeting. Discussion uh, restructuring of the police department. Joyce, did you bring a copy of that ordinance? No, I did not. Okay, so uh, most of you are aware that uh, we've been discussing changing the structure of the police department so that it will it'll be composed of a chief of police, oh sorry about that, a chief of police, a captain, four sergeants, and ten patrol to be distributed as, as needed. Um, this would be a change from one chief of police and five sergeants. So there'll be elimination of a sergeant. One of the sergeants will be uh, provisionally promoted to captain pending uh, civil service testing and does, does that ten patrolman include the Quaker? Does, yes, he will be a sergeant and he'll be a line sergeant on yeah. the yeah, on duty. Yeah, so the chief has a structure set up at Mitz Kelly, yes. I, I think that's correct that uh, okay. where's the detective going to fall in there? He's a sergeant. He's a sergeant. He's a sergeant. He's a sergeant. Yeah. Well currently there's a detective sergeant. The sergeant will move over to that position. A, a, a sergeant, the detective does not have to be a sergeant. A detective is just a patrolman. A detective is not identified in civil service rules, is not identified in any rule. It's just a, a position that the chief of police appoints, no different than the school resource officer, no different than any other. Uh, yeah, you said 10 officers. Eight will be on the line, on the line, on duty. Then there'll be one detective. And then one yeah, one school resource officer who can work as a detective also. So they, you know, when schools then recess or uh, they so can be that's the ten. the ten. That's the ten. The eight officers, the one detective, and the one that, uh, officer. Right. It's not a sign. It's not a sign. Um, so what that means, though, is, is it means that our at our August meeting we have to uh, amend our current ordinance, first reading, to amend the ordinance to identify those positions. We also simultaneously have to recreate the captain's position. If you recall, we also have to work on the special, the third, the, the third class, because I think I'd like to establish that, even though we don't have one in that appointment. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, we could pass an ordinance that identifies a class three officer. Exactly. Yeah. So that if in the future we want to have a class three, and if Trenton, right. well. Okay, so we could establish the captain's position and also establish the class three position. Yeah, we just we'll be ready. Say, is it, uh, I, I, wanna, I want to be proactive on that because I want to be ready in case it is a There's an opportunity. I understand. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just pull out our old ordinance for the captain. And a class three, if you know what that is, it is a uh, retired police officer who's under a certain age, who is qualified with certain qualifications, uh, who can be used as a... Uh, school resource officer. Um, so I agree with that. That's, we might as well do it at the same time. So establish the sergeant and establish the class three officer. Um, so the new structure of the police department will be um, first read and then final reading will be in September. What we can do at the caucus meeting. What we'll do at the council meeting. Yeah, whatever. But there is a time. Yeah, you know, the September meeting should be fine. Because our meetings are very early now. Uh, did you notice that uh, the, you know, there's not that extra uh, two weeks sometimes because of the way the, the calendar falls. The, you mean they're close together? Yes. Yeah, did, did, did you see that? Yeah. Those were the last Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so restructuring of the police department, so that takes care of that. The only thing that it, that it also identifies is the fact that we are uh, in the need to hire a, um, a new patrol. So, Who's going to be in that tent? Yes, so the new patrolman, we have a civil service list that the police department currently is uh, reviewing, and they will be submitting it to the committee, which will outline uh, the applicants that are uh, interested and qualified. Um, you know, we have to pick from one of the top three. I think that's a pretty easy losing one. We're not losing one, we're short an officer right now, based on our ordinance. So by making this move, it allows us to plug this officer. So when we do this new ordinance, am I going to word it, am I going to, word it to say that the police department shall be staffed? The way it's uh, currently written is it says this is the this is the current amount of officers or whatever council deems appropriate. So there's, there's that caveat in there that allows you to hire more or less patrolmen. I'll make sure that that's Because there's going to be times where you lose people and there's going to be times that we might have an additional person on there. So Chief, I just went over the establishment of the sergeant, the establishment of the class, the class three officer. Yes. And the, and the restructuring of the police department, chief, captain, four sergeants, 10 patrolmen, yes. which identifies the fact that we need your civil service list uh, finalized, given to the committee so we can do an appointment in September of whoever's one of the top three officers. All right. Then we have, since that, we are allowed to hire one more class two. Yes. And that is, yeah, that's allowed by the law. We don't have to do anything to change that. How do you want me to wear this? Well, it, I, I think the way it involves right is it's only for your high school. And it's only for 25 hours a week, so I believe it only says one okay. officer. That's fine. That's what I need to do. Thank you, Bill. Well, we can look at it because of what, when I saw that law, I, was, I thought that their intent was that you find two retirees because the thought is someone's always gone. They're limited. The school's open for 32 hours a week. Why would you uh, have 25 hours as the amount of hours they can work when the school's open for 30? 32 hours and I think the I don't believe it says you can only have one I think I think we should establish you know up to two because if you hire two guys if one guy's sick you can always send somebody in or yeah, two guys who both want to work 17 hours they both work 18 hours and something like that to do the job Did, have you read the, uh, the, old have you read the no this is this is, the, no, this is, this is what the establishes the place right? oh that's the law okay so discussion of restructuring the police department, so that pretty much clarifies it. Is there any other questions on the police department? Does everybody know the, the intent? Uh, I mean, currently we have an officer who's on our, on our civil service list. He looks like he's uh, in the he's top three. He's number three. No, actually, he's number two. He's number two. Uh, he you know, so, and, and so we, have, we have people that are close to our list that we can hire me. He's number two right now. Great. Uh, discussion of, of, so now once we establish the position of the captain, we have to establish the salary. Um, basically, uh, current sergeant makes ninety-six thousand dollars a year. Yes. The chief of police makes one hundred eight. One hundred eight. So the idea would be that the difference between the sergeant and the chief of police would be one hundred two. That would be the starting salary of the captain. Does that make sense, to everyone? So it's it's higher than a sergeant. It's less than the chief. And it's basically the rate of the choice is the salary. It is the salary. It's the salary. It's the salary. It's the salary. The salary. The salary. So we can appoint someone provisionally to that position until the test is done. Um, just to make it clear, one of the reasons we're doing this and, and how we're going to uh, pay for this is the chief has established what this position will do. Some of the um, some of the uh, tasks that are going to be given to this this captain will take away from some of the other officers that may be being paid overtime or comp time or it's not getting done so the captain will be on salary the captain's on salary would not be entitled to any overtime would not be entitled to any side jobs make sure that everybody understands that yeah. so is this correct how many sergeants do we have now five, five. So one of them will move up to a captain. And so this accomplishes a couple things. It, it, hard, it starts the, the process of a succession planning. So if the chief leaves, you have somebody who's available. Um, it establishes more of a, uh, 
delineation of who's going to do what. Uh, there's an argument that some things could be done better if there was someone who was focused on it as opposed to uh, being divided up amongst the sergeants. Okay, so Catholic's position, position and salary. Discussion of hiring the police officer. We've kind of already said that. We just need the list from civil service. Is there any other discussion about that? Does everybody understand what the, the logic is there? Um, our starting salary for a police officer with training is $35,000 a year for starting salary for a training. Discussion of resolution canceling tax credits. Joyce, I don't know. That. That's because um, with the new building coming out, the older TVBs we've been improving, they created, you know, there's a zero balance, but now the new building came on because they're not on the books yet. So I just want to wait. I probably don't have to because we already approved them, but I just like to wait away the credits by resolution. So you understand what that is, total disabled vets, because of the new uh, tax bills getting put out there? Which will be mailed tomorrow. They'll be mailed tomorrow. When would the tax bills be due? August 25th. August 25th. Then I have more information on class three that you should look at from uh, the uh, risk people. So maybe we'll talk a little bit afterwards so we can kind of look at everything. Okay, resolution 17-109 is a resolution authorizing mayor and council to be closed session. We're not going to do that. We're going to do that in open session. Uh, Mr. Wazog, you're okay with us talking in open session about this? Okay. Uh, Len, do you want to take the microphone and at least just to review very briefly what we're doing? So the members of council. Uh, so as a result of incidents that you're well aware of, uh, it was determined that uh, some disciplinary action needed to be taken. Uh, the mayor and, and uh, Harry had some discussions about that. Uh, came to uh, what, what mayor and I consider to be a fair uh, resolution uh, in terms of discipline, uh, commensurate with what the in, what the incident was, uh, and that agreement has been prepared uh, and has been executed by Harry. Uh, council needs to determine if they're comfortable with it and authorize the mayor to execute it um, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, it could also, it, and, it, and it, part of it, I'm not going to get into all the particulars uh, because it hasn't been approved yet, uh, but it involves some uh, some forfeiture of vacation time. Well, can you just go through them? Do you mind? Uh, just uh, don't uh, outline them. Is that okay? I don't believe, uh, well, Mr. Root, had, you were aware of some of the information. I just want to make sure you, you got the rest of this. You want me to go? Yeah, if you could just go over the... Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to read boilerplate. You know, lawyer, lawyer members are. Um, so initially, uh, a 30-day suspension without pay, which the, the, the borough is going to hold in abeyance. Uh, and there will be a 12 month probationary period. Um, if there are any further issues, then the, the suspension will be reinstated and or additional discipline up to and including losing loss of job could, could occur. Uh, there's a forfeiture of six vacation days and one personal day in this calendar year. There's a reimbursement to the borough of 700 hours, which was the cost to bring the uh, vehicle back. Uh, that will be paid by via a wage attachment, for lack of a better thing to call it, over time, uh, so as not to be too onerous. Um, that's, it. that's it. The rest of it is legal, you know. It's right in New Jersey and... Mr. Kelly, you... That's the substance. I've read you the substance. I don't know if you were... You had gotten a copy of that or anything like that. Did you, you knew about this. And, yes. Okay. So what we need is... Uh, is this going to be a resolution, just an authorization from council for me to say? I think I, I, either way, I, you know, you can you can do it either way, but resolution is probably. All right, let's do resolution 17-109 instead of being closed session. Let's do authorization. Uh, council to authorize the mayor to sign the uh, uh, disciplinary action between uh, the agreement between the uh, borough of Runnymede and Mr. Wozniak. Should I make a motion? Please. I'll make a motion. Approve. I'll make a motion to approve uh, re resolution 1709 authorize the mayor and council to enter into a, an a agreement with uh, the situation. Okay. I'll second that. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Passio? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Bauer? Yes. Mrs. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Wozniak? 
Kelly? Yes. Mr. Yes. Uh, okay. Resolution is adopted. Okay, let's go around the table and then uh, Ms. Passu, do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. Um, hmm? Are you going to be talking about the, uh, the garden and all of that? Well, I guess I, I guess I guess I can start. Um, okay, uh, we're going to have a green fair on um, September 16th, and we're also talking about a 5K run with which Rochelle has done before, and she is now in Amsterdam and on her way back. So, so hopefully, um, she'll she'll uh, give us all the details, and then we'll go out and get some supporters on that. 5K run. She's going to send me a route, and then I will send it to everyone so we can check that out. You know, it was going to Green Acres. I'm sure it is going to be all around. It's Green going Acres. to no Green Acres and strawberry flies are eating you up. So don't go down there. Yeah, I have to do it late in the season. Oh, I ran. Yeah, I ran down there faster than lightning. Yeah, right. I probably beat. <laughs> I beat him and Mary Jo. <laughs> but anyway, okay. Um, let me see. Uh, we, we were discussing um, the uh, the two thousand dollar grant that we got for sustainability at our green team meeting, and uh, we or establish and I'll present it to council on where we would like to put our butterfly garden. And where we would like to put our butterfly garden is the path coming up here into the courtroom door. On the right hand side, it's completely clear, but there's a lot of black mulch, which the public works would have to take out all the black mulch. Um, Greg has um, gotten uh, one of the gentlemen down in uh, Ocean County, I think, he's a gardener, and they sell all kind of uh, plants, and uh, native plants, and uh, they're a vendor now. I think I sent you all the information, Harry, did I not? Okay. So, um, if it's okay with it's council, go ahead. I have a question. Yeah. Where do you want to No, no. What it is is it's a beautiful garden. So you, there will be butterflies and there'll be yeah, look up and yeah. Kids or somebody here, coming here at the borough, the station's right there. You think anybody would want to? Do the only thing we have to be considered is we need water. We need that's water. It. We need that's we need the whole pump. We need, we need water. Has to be a place you know? where So water. we're trying to pick where we ha where we can build this. And this was this was uh, how we got this two thousand dollar grant. Uh, we presented it as a pollinator garden, so we have this money, and um, we need to do these gardens. So well, we, we've, we've talked about that that mulch stuff. That, that, that mulch really is the mulch is a fire not hazard. Good. Yeah, it's not we really good. should try so to move that. Back. Everything will be natural. Everything yeah. will be native, and everything will bring in. There'll be milk, milkweed seeds. There'll be milkweed. Or I mean, she'll, milk she'll, seeds. She'll get all that. Seeds. Yes. She'll get all of that. Oh, oh Linda Hurd. Linda Hurd is going to do all of it. Oh, okay. Green yeah. She doesn't need any. No, she doesn't. Not too bad. <laughs> we should look at so, it. There are some considerations. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'll take you out afterwards if you want to see where we're, where we we're thinking about where to spend the money but, and show that we spend the yeah, money. Yeah, we have, and yeah, we, we need to spend it all. I would so. like to. I would like to say, um, if you, if you, anybody's taken a look at the butterfly garden at the Harry Williams building, it's a sturdy, it's a beautiful garden as long as it's being watered. And, and also, it has water. And also at the um, the uh, downing, downing school. school. Yeah, and um, you know it's not a. It, as far as Bobby had mentioned, is it a problem? A lot of people, a lot of traffic coming. I don't think so. I think that's what we're looking for. We're looking for an audience. We're looking to for the people to appreciate uh, the beauty of. We Prince. have our beautiful monument out there. Something we, we want to have, have, have in a high traffic area because it is a, it, it is a it's a garden and they're we supposed to be people, enjoyed. We want people to appreciate it. And now that, good, that we right? have everything out there, just serenity. Right under your window. Yeah. Bring a happiness to our bar. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so when can you tell us if you'll approve this? I mean, yeah. we, we need well, to. Well, I think the, uh, there was a letter sent to me that we had to fill out a form for all this and show that we did the work. Can I give that to you, John? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think it's a good idea. I think the only thing we have to talk about is that, uh, I think Fred Diverti would be happy to get rid of that mulch. He really didn't like that mulch against the, um, I don't you remember him talking about that. We'll talk on Monday with Fred okay. and then see how we can lay it out. Has anybody done like a, 
like a design? Is it if it's well, Linda, I've asked Linda to do that. Okay, so Linda's so that so we don't so have any plants, little plants we need. Maybe there's some grass, and then and then that, and then sprinklers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the grass keeps the going away. We, we yeah, still have, we the, still the have maintenance issue there. will be on the green team. Uh, Collingswood did this very similar. If anyone has been to the Collingswood Municipal Building, they're between, you know, it's right downtown Haddonfield or Haddon Avenue. If you've ever parked in the back and walked up, it's a great place to take a quick look. Uh, they've done something exactly similar to this, where they've taken a small area with a little bit of grass, walkway, <laughs> and a, a garden area that basically is all flowers. Yeah. Uh, and it looks good, but you're right, it's all about water, without the water. Yeah, yeah, we can't, we can't do it without the water. I think a barbecue. <coughs> Yeah, it, it'll be beautiful. Um, okay, so National Night Out, I'm gonna, it's, it'll begin at seven o'clock. <laughs> so I thought it was at six, I have to go change the library sign, so it's at seven. When, when does it start? Seven o'clock, Eleanor. Oh, and change the time. Six. I know. What's the date in August? So, August 1st. Yeah. August 1st, so our meeting's always second. Yes. So, uh, yes, yeah, so on Wednesday night, we'll, our meeting, our council meeting will be at I'm seven o'clock. Sure August. Tuesday is the second. Yeah? No, Tuesday is August 1st. Wednesday is August 2nd. It is, trust me. I've been on that I calendar. We've already advertised. Uh, well, yeah. that's okay. Let's look at 6 and then right. set up. When's August 2nd? Wednesday. 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 And that's a, that will be our council meeting at 7 o'clock. It's in our newsletter. Yeah, we're going to do the league table again. Yes. And also, um, our concert. Our concert went really well. Um, it, we had this. Steve Calban, they were fantastic. Um, they were blues. They just did some great, great songs. So it was really a really great time. And also on Wednesday, August 23rd, we will have Hegan String Band at 7 o'clock at the Harry Wave. So please come out. Um, whether it will be inside, if it's really, really hot, it will be inside in our air conditioning. If not, it will be outside. Um, and um, if it, there are any 1967 Troy graduates, I do have to promote this. There are any 1967 trade graduates out there, please contact me because we are having our 50th reunion and um, it's gonna be a great weekend. We're going to have, uh, we're gonna go out on the football field on Friday night and then Saturday we're gonna to tour Triton and Continental Breakfast and on Saturday night on October 7th at 6 p.m. we will be at the Adelphia Ballroom. Tickets are $50 which is really cheap. We're not making any money on that. So if you were 1967 Raider Blue, please contact me. We're looking for you. And, uh, huh? <laughs> so was I, but. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think that is it. John, if I have anything else, you, you'll pick it off. Or sure. Eleanor, pick me we'll up. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ranieri, do you have any reports? I do. Thank you, Mayor Council. Good evening, everybody. In finance, our ordinance 1707 has been funded. Um, the seven itemized purchases and jobs are underway and in progress. Um, uh, question for you guys, Harry or, uh, or Mark. The electronic sign in the parking lot, when is that going to be? Oh, that's me. That's my project. When's that going to be? I met, it, I met with a gentleman the other day who is uh, getting us a proposal. Uh, we might have to get a couple of proposals depending on the, the amount. Um, the LED board itself we can buy directly from a manufacturer. So hopefully what we can do is we can get prices from a couple of manufacturers, approve one of those, and then the same thing with the installer. Obviously I don't know how to do anything, so this would be the only way to really do it is to hire outside vendors. So we're going to wait, we'll get drawings that will be submitted to the town even though we had some preliminary ideas. That was more to get our funding. Now that our funding has been in place since last week, we can start working on that. So and, and it'll happen soon. What's okay. The parameter for the expense? I think we bonded thirty or forty thousand, but that includes also directional signs, signs on the building to identify the police department, the uh, or, uh, the court, the, the clerk's office. So there's a bunch of things we need. To okay. Check. Well, I, I bring it up for a reason. We have to start to advertise and promote the events that we're doing. We put a lot of time into some of these events. Everybody, you know, laughs about butterfly garden and stuff. But uh, you know the green team, etc. We do need to advertise it, and, I'm, and I have a purpose. Of, the green fair. Mark your calendars. It will be September 16th. Is that right, Patty? And uh, we would love to see everybody there, uh, and also help promote this event. Um, 
we're trying to build it. And I'm putting some effort into here to get some vendors coming in that we never had. Um, just talk, just talk to. Uh, Where will it be held? At Harry Williams. Harry Williams building. At what time? Ten, ten to two. Ten to two. Outside. It'll be outside. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Weather permitting. If not, we'll go in. And, and it, it all comes down to advertising this. You know, if we have, if, if I'm looking for, you know, hundreds of people. I'm not looking for 10. Absolutely. And we can't do it if we don't advertise it. We don't talk about yeah, it. The best and way we don't have fun things to involve uh, people, some games, some ideas, get the kids out there. That's the key, the kids. When, when Ms. Passio, when you guys brought the uh, choir to sing, every single time we've had the choir there, you see all the parents, you see all the grandparents, you see the siblings. That really brings people out. Or I know the seniors are very loyal, they do things, but it has to also touch both, to touch both sides. Our single stream recycling. Yes. I haven't taken the challenge yet, but I had these laminated. This is every item you could throw into the trash or recycle. And we're going to have a challenge. I'm going to ask you to help me with a little sign where you get so much time and you have to see if you pick the right ones. With, and, if you, and if you get it right, you're going to win something. And it's probably going to be a pesticide free, friendly weed killer. <laughs> Uh, he's making them up. Which, which one if I took your one of those to give away? And or they could be, uh, people can uh, give a donation to help support yes. the green team. So I just want to talk about it a little bit because it's something we want to enhance. Okay. I'm trying to get Ford to give me an electric car. Uh, this is not a golf cart. It's an enclosed year-round electric car, $16,000, $20,000 vehicle. I'm trying to let them, trying to have them bring it to us that day or, so we can have that and people can look at it. Something I actually want to get for town. Um, so there's a lot of things we're working on, and uh, I just wanted to bring it up. The sign's important, okay? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, the, the butterfly garden, Patty touched base on that. Um, and basically, I talked to, just I want to let everybody know, Wawa, some of the police had uh, got back to me, Wawa keeps saying they want to help the community, and they wish there's some way they could help, and I'm up there every year asking for help, and, they never do and they're not helping. So I gave him another letter, and, I, and in the letter, I have it with me if anybody wants to read it, it just says that this was the first year that we had to close or not open the snacks session, the snack concession stand, and we really look forward to their support. And I, you know, you know, so that's where I left that. They will be coming to the Green Fair giving out coupons and samples and things or helping us out that way, but we're looking for some, some major support from them. Uh, no, but I'm working on it, and the, the rest is progress. Thank you, Ms. Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. Want to give her the microphone? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, I have in my hand the application for um, our police, uh, Junior Police Academy. The application has been made to a community policing grant offered by um, the Matthew L. Tarantino Community Policing Grant. And the request is for $1,255. And that's going to be, I hopefully we're going to get this grant. Uh, it'll enable our academy to give the children 35 t-shirts, 20 cases of water, variety snacks, 20 cases of sheet cake for graduation, pizza for graduation so it's all consumable goods and um well, we're doing this police academy regardless if we get to grant uh, it's part of your 14. budget it would reimburse yes. your budget yeah. this this will just help yeah. uh and, and hopefully we will get it, it it's this is an important outreach and of course on the first thing in all my agendas when i meet with the public safety committee the first thing is community outreach that's the first thing on my agenda all the time and the chief is right on board with that. So this goes right along with our goals for reaching out to the community. And it's going to be wonderful. From the 14th to the 18th, uh, there will be all kinds of activities. I just wanted to uh, go over it with you because... Is there a date on there for when they need our bus? When they need the I believe it's the 15th. We'll be taking a field that? trip to Central Communications. Okay and Camp County Police Academy, which they have a class in session now, so they get to witness the... Okay, so we'll need a bus for the 15th. Do not take them to the jail. No. We have enough time. We'll, try, we'll do a drive-by. So where are you taking them, Chief? They'll go to Central Communications in Linwall. 
Oh, okay. And they'll get a tour of how the 911 system operates. And they'll be going to Camden County Police Academy and Lakeland. And they'll have the instructor, the lead instructor, Lutz, uh, kind of couch boy. Yeah. The instructor, he will then uh, show them what they're uh, going to happen to them. Do you have so students have, that people signed up at this point? I believe Officer Burns has a few. As I said, this is Officer Burns is running this, him and Sergeant Mary. And the only input I've had, I just typed up the grant. Beautiful. And, did a great uh, job. And the officers have done a great job. They're encouraging kids. They spoke to the school. The school is making notification to students that are going from seventh grade to eighth grade and trying to get 25 children, 25 to 30 children signed up and we get our way. Boys and girls. Yeah. Oh, right. Boys and girls. Is there a minimum in case you don't, uh, can you get away with well, 10 or 15 or? Yeah, we probably get 10 or 15, but we're, we're shooting for to be 25 or 30, which, you know, is, let me, let me read your, your, your uh, summary on this. The Runnymede Police is hosting a junior police academy for 25 Runnymede students who will be entering eighth grade. The candidates will be selected from the borough of Runnymede, which is 2.2 square miles and has a population of 8,500. The program will consist of physical training every day and a new lesson plan every day. The participants will be taken on a trip to the Camden County Police Academy for a tour, Central Communications. Every day, the, the participants will be given positive reinforcement to be a leader in their community by preventing bullying and setting good examples for the younger children in the school. The lesson plans will include internet safety, first aid training, demonstrating fire equipment, and canine demonstration. The final day, the participants will have a graduation ceremony at um, the headquarters with their families. This new program will provide a sense of trust among the community and tear down barriers between young citizens and the police. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, T. So and I will not be doing physical training. Really? For another <laughs> offer to do. <laughs> so we look forward to that. That starts on August the 14th. Uh, I just want to congratulate Charles Mark Romand. He is our emergency management director, and he has just completed his FEMA instruction for emergency management, and uh, that was done on May 1st. I also received from the mail a very good, and I gave, I forwarded this on to you. It, you probably are very familiar with it. It's, you did. It's wonderful. Uh, it's an excellent overview. You know, we're, we're going through five heat waves this summer. We've had five heat waves. All of our men that are working out, and just like the police also are included in this. I, I know I sent this to you too, Chief, and I yes, hope that I you're aware of it. Yes. But it's important. The Mel really wants us to be aware of the dangers of heat prostration and what we can do to avoid that. This is an excellent bulletin. Uh, did I forward it to you? I know I gave it to Harry. I gave it to Fred. I think I gave I think it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, this is kind of important. That's my um, fun commissioner hat that I'm wearing there. And I think that's that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Farrell. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Previous read reported NJ uh, DOT he running me two hundred eight thousand dollars for Allen Broadway. Uh, we're waiting for a design on that. Now, 208000 that won't do that job, so we're trying to figure out uh, what we can do with our, you know, best with our money. And also, phase two in the Barrel Hall uh, should be, uh, let me see, I'm looking right here. Uh, it should be finalized by September. Is that true, Mark? Goes All the work this month. goes out for a bid and it'll be finalized by the end of September. I think September 25th, was it? 30th? One of the days. It was like, it was like an hour. July was bidding and then you like I said, warding. You said it was by September. Oh, warding? I'm sorry. Okay. It bids in August and awarding in September. Okay. And also Oakland Avenue, South Oakland, and South Washington. And phase two is about to get started. Uh, completion in September, right? So I'm right. 
also, which really, uh, I think, an issue that's, I think we just have to jump on is that the lake problem. So I keep bringing it up. Clemson Bridge Road, Black Horse Bay, East Sham Road, Black Horse Bay. I know we, excuse me? No, no. I know they need I, they need money for design. Right? Is that true? And think, study. Right? And study. I think that's something we just need to put money towards and have to study. Well, maybe next next year's bond, we just if we want to, you know, it's, fight the uh, bullet, and spend the money to get the studies well, done. Why do we have to split with this study when it's their control? Because they won't do it. They won't do it unless. I've noticed Clemens Bridge Road's getting really bad. It's backing up all the time. It's it's worse. Yeah. Like and it's getting deeper. It's way it's back. It's, it's oh, down the hill, up the hill. And you're sitting through Jeez, four light that changes. That bridge gate. <laughs> 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 so like nobody gets by. And then how can the county not pay for it? <laughs> what is the state road, county road, and, and us all at the same time? But maybe we, maybe we, I, uh, we, can't, get, we can't get out of our streets. I was coming from the mall the other day. I so after three lights trying to make it a left on the black horse bike. Without there being a turning situation, if you you could be there for Christmas time. Yeah. Well, the worst part is it's it's three or four lights yeah. to get out, yeah. Yeah. and there's no traffic past it. Right. Going past the borough, it's, it's clear. It's all the way down. Exactly. It's all. 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 If we know it's going to cost twenty-five thousand dollars, who would our? Um, I think there was a quote at one point, yeah, wasn't there? Was. I it was five or six thousand. No, I thought well, it was twenty-five or thirty. I thought it was something ridiculous. Do you think yeah. five or six thousand? So you got to pay five thousand for a guy to come out there and say, "Yeah, these lights need to change." Really? Yeah, they do it. Though. You think it's that much? They do a traffic study. Who? They do traffic counts. They come up with. Who's our assemblyman in charge? You know, it's a Chris Price. It's our state senator. We like to talk to her. No? Yeah. I know she's hard to get on the phone. Yeah. She's tough. I tried before or something. Yeah. That's who's probably the best person to talk to. I'll find out she's old. There was a proposal done at some point when we were looking at it. We were like, how are we really going to spend that much money when we can we'll change it? Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, even if we get the report, there's no guarantee the state's going to change anything, correct? You understand that, guys? Even if we pay the money to get the report, there's no there's no guarantee the state will. Yeah, but if they change. say that, I just I don't okay. think that's it. A... Well, I think that it's a lot of competing things fighting against each other. You know, I mean, I, I, the other day I was down at your race looking at and doing the same thing. I was, I was trying to get the light on Evesham, and it took me forever to get through. Uh, I told Harry that. Going to change. The With point though is, is if you change a few seconds on Evesham to allow Evesham to go through. Does that back up Clemens Bridge Road on the yes, Deferent side? Um, and then the Deferent side backs up to the McDonald. You know, there's all these things well, that the go. The down at the point is not the worst. Even though you're backed up to Patty and my street, it still flows because there's no competition with the turn. Because once that light's on, everybody's going. You might get Clemens Bridge not bad on that side, but you're right the other it's direction. It's the pipe that's the, in the morning yeah, that has no clue. Oh, the pike. And God forbid there's a tractor trailer. It's the well, you know what? Don't We've been talking about that for a long time now. I think three years at least have been talking about why is it we, why don't we have a turning signal? I've been bringing it up. Because it's a years. state yeah, highway. Three years. But we don't own it. We can't do it, right? We I mean, it's not like well, we, we can just pay for it, but we got to pay for it. But we got to pay for the study. Even though it's a state, we got to pay for it? The study. I've been studying it for three years. <laughs> and these are the chairs. I'm just going to get very frustrated. I'm just going to get how does Barrington get all those turning lanes down by the railroad tracks? I mean, well, there was a huge project that was done down there. Now, if everyone recalls, when the Wawa was built in Runnymede on the Black Horse Pike, there was money to move the lane from Smith Lane to yeah, there. Yeah. But that was incurred by the Wawa, put up a quarter of a million dollars to move the lane. Uh, so, when a developer comes in, that's when the lanes get moved the most. And, and what you're talking about, and you're right, comes Bridge Road down by uh, uh, the old rail. But they, they, they spent um, half a million dollars to redo, and they didn't do the paint, if you remember. They only did the lights, exactly. and that was a half a million dollars. Is that something to incorporate with redevelopment? Right? Lights? Maybe. No, the, whole, the, the pipe. Oh, you're about that. Because if you're redeveloping the area where your business is in. Well, if the curbs were moved, and you're right, then you know, but that would be a whole reconfiguring of the of the uh, intersection. Um, before you change everything, there you got to look at the whole big project that way is. 
I'm sure you're not redoing it. And when it comes down, the state is finally starting to get more money. Remember, we've got double the money we've got. We went from $150,000 every other year to we got $400,000 this year. So maybe things are starting to get a little bit better. You know, they like that. Something like that. Maybe. I know it's, don't take some straight. We work hard. <laughs> Progress over right. Keep at it. Keep at it. I'm, I'm oh, on your hard. side. We want that. Yeah. We want that attorney one. So we'll just keep at it. I don't even know if it's as, as hard as attorney one. It's all have to be as offset it. Yes. You yes. know, let let this this side go first, then this side go. As long as this side's not going, everybody can turn. It's, like, the it's actually pretty dangerous the way it is. Yeah, Everybody's it's confused. Right. It's a crazy intersection. It's cat and tail. Cool. It's, cool. it's, it's too small right, as it sits to put a turning lane. Well, aren't they going to widen it? They, they have to. But how do you think they have to do it? They can't widen that. Why? There's that's no, that's no state. Property. State on both sides. That's why it's real. State on Thomas Reserve Road, side state on 168, but then it's county on the other side. Is that correct? Yes. It's county on our side. Out front, you can have the turning light. One black was quite the Columbus Bridge Road, they got to be delayed. But on East Ham, you can have the turning. Yeah, it's on the table. So Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, just, uh, you know, uh, everything's been moving smooth. Uh, it's hot out. The guys have been working uh, uh, pretty hard in the heat. Uh, Harry's been doing the, uh, I'll let him talk about the projects that they have been doing and the uh, the VFW, we're getting some headway on the VFW uh, park. Um, so Harry can inform you all about that. Uh, everything's been moving smooth. And uh, I think everything went good with the 4th of July, moving the dates. I did drop around and notice that people did wait to put the stuff out and the recycling because of the, 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 the day changes. So I think everybody got that worked out pretty good. Uh, other than that, the rest is progress, and I'll let Harry talk about everything he's doing. We haven't heard anything about that recreation grant, right? 25,000, Jack Sorsky. That would be. When, when will we hear? Do you remember where was the date? They were looking to make decisions at the pre order meeting, but I haven't heard anything. Yes. They were talking all this. Okay. We were out there. I think I told you, I think we had like 17,000 available that we might be able to move. I don't know if that gets us far enough and then we reimburse ourselves. It's not too far off for that. Not too far off. Yeah. yeah. So, since we're talking about that. Okay. We got to go to the small board first. Conceptual plan first of one design that was presented to us. Um, we had another design that was. Um, not elaborate as that, that from another company that was about eight thousand dollars more. And this only replaces one piece or all the pieces? The, out? All the pieces are coming out, and this is a five point. No swings anymore? No, swings, no, swing, swing, swings will be totally separate. Oh, it is totally separate. It's totally separate. The, this is just the play area, play area itself. This is for two or five year olds. Okay. That's the, the criteria for the age limit. So instead of having, because you have two to five, then five to twelve, and then you're um, adolescent team, they call it. So the biggest thing is that there being kind of like a little passive area where we're looking to keep it for more smaller kids, keep uh, Beaver French Park for the five to 12 year olds. So you have a kind of separation so you don't have the bigger kids showing up. That's the BFW, not going to be red, white, blue, or are you thinking more the piece of equipment, kind of John Deere colors, cat colors, is that the idea? It was just. Well, let's try the BFW first. Are there, there options in color? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's all, there's, there's, there's it's still a BFW part. We have, we have everything there for it. I mean, you did, I have the, the one proposal with all the color swaps and the little okay. so forth. I mean, this is this conceptual that we can Oh, we get samples at least the five. I mean, you can, it's at, but uh, the base price, uh, just so you know, uh, okay. it's uh, 16, 16, uh, five. For the base unit, and then the redo with the uh, rubber mulch oh, yeah. and the new bedding around it, and the company to actually do the installation, so it's certified, is uh, seventy-two So we're back twenty-five thousand. Right, twenty-five that we were going to get. Right on. Yeah. And we were looking at before the other companies; they were thirty-three, thirty-four thousand. So we kind of dropped back. We got this proposal. We we're just looking at. It. So I wanted to present it because it's all it is is proposal. We can change it there. Other ideas. Could you hold it up again? That's really nice. That's very nice. 
Now, now, is that in lieu of just one item there, or all of it? It's like a multi. There's only one item there now. Isn't there multi bars too, or something? It's, it's the whole. So everything's going, but one item like that. No, no, they're gonna have swings. A mask. You have to, the, the swings that will remain. They stay. So that wasn't part of that. No, so the swings stay. Swings. Okay. swings. No. What else remains? Okay. Just okay. swings. The swings. Okay. Exactly. The other piece was. The other piece was just one piece. Yeah. Okay. That just had. That's I said. Five points. You have five different play areas off of this one. Gotcha. Out of What's down here now is five out, five different play points. Understood. Gotcha. Same thing. Okay. Thank you. And this is the age group for this. Yes, it's two to five girls. Two to five. I guess yeah. I can't go one. We're, we're we're basically determining that the BFW uh, playground is going to be for the younger kids and uh, Green Acres or, or Beaver Branch is going to be for older kids. So, yeah, you know, and that's who you see there. The little yeah, kids. Yeah, it's yeah. always the little kids around that area. And you know, the kids that just want to hang out there, they just sit and hang out there on the swings on the island, not playing on the on the stuff. Right not that we have anything against kids just hanging out there, but is it state contract? Is that what these people are? Yeah. So it's all part of this. It's all they part of that. Up and just buy it. And no, now, it's, it's do you state. need do you need the mail or the or the uh, risk control people to look at this before you install it? I mean, what kind of approval do you have to get from John? All, all it is is John wants to make sure that it meets the standards, which the specifications have all that. He'll be copied on it. Okay. But that's it. I, I just don't it, want him, you know. No, it's it's a, it's a major. Here goes. This is kind of ninety nine point nine percent of these are approved. They're all ADF and they're all approved. You yeah. know, products. That so John are, wouldn't have a problem. He, no. His problem is the aging and the condition of, of you know of maintaining these things. Yes, yeah, I know. Problem. Well, I had a buy at the last meeting. He was he was on vacation. <laughs> well, we took but I have another the, meeting coming up, so I want well, to be able to give him. He's keeping up. He, the he's case. aware of it because exactly. we're oh. scheduled for an inspection for other properties. Oh. And John, John already knows that this is a work in progress. Okay. And he knows that we're working on the grant, so he's not. He's, he's not, not out of the loop. Yeah, it's not going to affect our rate of pulls or anything like that. Okay. okay. Right. So, so he's he's, he's well informed. Of what's going on. Um. Girl softball field, the back uh, field by the basketball courts, the uh, dugouts are getting redone, the roofs are getting done, the, the one roof that was rotted, so we're redoing the shingles on both, recapping them uh, for both, on both of them, so that's underway right now. Um, at the Beaver Branch Park, uh, next week hopefully, uh, I have the camera system going in there, the four cameras to start off with, it's being upgraded to an eight camera DVR system. So all four points of the building will have outreach. It will be covering the playground and the gazebo uh, pavilion with, with the new setup. Uh, and then we'll also be looking at so the So the internet line, line the Comcast line we have currently. Yes. Directly to where? The police department has access to the monitoring, go back and do reporting on it. Okay. Now when, when they vandalized the gazebo, did we ever find out how that happened? What was it during the day? Was it at night when they when? Unless, no, unless no, you had a crystal ball, ball. <laughs> and it was, it was very, we don't know. No clue. No, no clue. clue. No. I have a question for you. Yes. In the last week, have we put trash cans under that pavilion down there? I was down there eating lunch and we had to walk all the way. Um, unfortunately, I've been away, so that's one of the thing, things to do list. So yeah. moving back, to the gates. Yeah. 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 So. It, it is, it's on the board to get completed. It's just we have had our project. Getting back to girls softball there, uh, we have to, hopefully at the August meeting will, it might just, just be a purchase order, is the uh, well. The well. Because we've got the money now, the funding for the well, and then the sprinkler company is donating the sprinklers, so hopefully that'll come out and have the season. Well, Harry's got a, got a guy, the guys are down there fixing the dugouts. Yeah, that's why it made me think of it. Because both of those have to happen in August. So we're, progress on that. Um, other than that, we're doing our normal maintenance. Uh, it's, I know, Mary, you'd like to hear this. Even though it's you know, July, we're actually working on prepping and doing preventive maintenance on the leafers. We will know it. <coughs> we'll be out picking up leaves. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, today we had a sweeper and a guy with a backpack lower on Singley Avenue uh, cleaning the uh, curbs, sidewalks of the leaves there. For some reason, we had it build up. 
so we were taking care of that. When is that hit struck? Uh, it, right now, we're looking at possibly the second week of September. What, what, what's the Remember the truck we bought that uh, is, yes. the, is yes. the dump body and yes. the backup leaf. Right, right. So hopefully that's perfect timing right before leaf season. We're, we're expecting delivery in mid-September. So. Real quick, Harry, just because I, I look at them every day. Uh, the uh, recycling, trash receptacle recycling, the one piece that we have all throughout town, are they composite with laminate? What are they, what are they made of? And the reason I ask is because a lot of them are sitting on the ground in the dirt. They're recycled. Uh, are they solid? Is it yeah, solid? They're not going to deteriorate? That's great. That's why we purchased those for, for those areas. Thank you. Um, other than that, if I could take two more minutes, uh, the project I've been working on, uh, the website, I have the preliminary uh, draft of it, so I'd like to show you the, the home page of it right now. Yeah, I'd love to see this, this is it. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Wood, you didn't have anything else this evening, or did you have anything that you wanted to go over? Yeah, you want to say that again? <laughs> well, I sent a follow-up letter, follow letter to the residents of Jolly Court because they never responded to the first letter. Uh, you know, with that we could that they could dedicate the streets to us, they would take care. Uh, I said. Uh, I drafted easements and mailed actual easement documents to the two individuals on, I always forget the name of the street, but... I see. Thank you. Uh, I originally communicated with them about the, our need for an easement, that they knew about. One guy called me, uh, was not a problem, very cooperative. The other guy I never heard from, he's the one who had, had the most communication with us earlier. I said, if I, I actually did the easement documents and mailed them to him with an explanation. We'll see. Uh, about a month or five weeks ago, sent a con the, con the actual contract out to GWU about two weeks ago. Uh, the mayor heard back that there were some uh, modifications or corrections that they wanted. The mayor sent me the information. I made those corrections about two weeks ago, would you say? Yep. And sent them back out and have not yet heard back from GWU, so they haven't signed the contract yet. Um, and we're very close to... Was there a reason why they haven't signed it? I mean, did, did they get it? Of course they got it. Yeah, of course they got it. That whether, the, whether the individual employees have gotten it from their union rep, I can't tell you, because I only deal with the union rep. So I, I don't know, but it's, it's, we've had this timing issue throughout. Um, and we're pretty close to finalizing uh, the, the uh, contract for the firefighters. And the rest is progress. The only thing I did forget is, because uh, Harry reminded me, is the VFW, we do have to do that. Uh, and we talked about it that the, the playground is a separate lot and that gentleman going to give us is given to us. So we're going to have to come up with a quick claim deed or is Well, a, a deed to deed, but I need a legal description. I'll go meet with the gentleman and get his legal description. We're working. Oh, you guys are working. That's right, because last time we talked about it. Okay, it's on your report? And then what? On report. Once we have that with the deed, we'll do the deed. We'll do the deed. We'll get the copy of the old deed, we'll get the new whatever we're going to get, and we'll do the new Okay, deed. great. Thank you. Sorry about that. Mr. Wilson, what do you got? Looking good. Pretty much that's a uh, basic outline that we're uh, trying to work with right now. Um, it, it's got some tweaking to be done. Uh, as you can see, it depends on how your screen is. That's actually because of how mine's set up. It, it uh, expands it. But with that, we're trying to make it user friendly. Uh, trying to get the color scheme, the brand of Barrow out there, the, the, the new decal logo. Uh, we use a lot of the pictures that were available that we had off the media, the newsletter, so forth, uh, just to have a roll installed. Um, so we are looking for some upper, updated uh, pictures. <laughs> um, with that, working with Joyce and the fire department, um, you know, going to the, the tax and sewer office, all the downloadable forms will be on there, uh, the PDF, um, how you can apply for the different things, who's eligible for tax deductions and so forth. So it'll all be listed. Uh, I did not click in to take a little bit to download uh, just because I want the Wi-Fi is not a good strength. But uh, we're trying to make the PDFs uh, oh, the applications. writable. PDFs. Oh, really? Oh, so yeah. that you can go right along the form. Yeah, fill it out oh, and then print it out. Oh, that's, that's, so that's, great. that's what we're working with. It is a um, the same that, that takes time. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, the fire is not up in, in motion right now. The fire department uh, is 
want to make sure that you are fine. Are they going to Police department, fair question. Yeah, got anything? To be able to go. Uh, the fire department, uh, working with the Deputy Chief of Guardian, Fire Marshal, uh, all the business registration forms, application for so uh, fire safety permit, all that stuff, the same thing, PDF file, uh, fillable oh, forms. That's great. So we're working with all that stuff. We did bring back the resident concern comments. It's on top and it needs to be bolder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it does have the Facebook link. Uh, so we're trying, like I said, it's, it's, this is the template. This is the first draft. So just what we did uh, just in a week's time, I think, is phenomenal. So we're hoping to really get this put together and be able to, to you know, change ours out here very uh, expeditiously. So this is just more or less for anybody to have any concerns or, or suggestions. Okay. Will you send this to us, right? Is this a, a beta form? Is that what it is? Yeah, send it to you. It's, it, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, access portal to go on. Oh, you log on to his... Uh, to log on to, to access. I can send that to all council to look at it. Uh, that, you know, as I said, I can help him filter everything with him. And it's been, I sent him something in a half hour, and he said, uh, well, writes me back and stuff. Right. So, I mean, it's been is, really is, fun. is that the kind of support we're going to have with this? Or? Yes. Wow. wow. So, great. Yeah, just, just so you say, you know, help out with the projects, it's one thing I took on. So, you know, hopefully we can have it in a few weeks. We can That'd be great. Okay. And as you're saying, you all your all your stuff all on your announcements. What's his name again? This company is Joyce Media. Oh, that's right. We got yeah. the contract. Yeah, yeah we did a professional site. So all the all the uh, announcements we want to advertise will they be flashing like that? We will be able to put up a you know we can put it on the scroll or like that can, or we can put a block with the upcoming maybe block. both and the ones that yeah. are coming up. I, right can, close. I can ask him. All right, flash that. that. That's great. So, okay. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Well, let's look at. It. Let's get that. Okay. Great. Well, we need it. Our other website is in bad shape. Thanks for using the overhead. All right, we're giving you now. You have a whole four minutes. Now. No, no, no. Okay. Four minutes? I'll go. Uh, we did have a proposal from August 23rd of last year from Shrop Fire. It was $4,700 for the traffic. So it wasn't that bad. And, but that's 11 months old, so now we're probably at 4900 Now, this would just be Clemens Bridge Road. do a traffic study for both, both intersections. Really? Yes. And we didn't do it for 4700 That's. It was at the end of the year. Why did you think it was the low money? Um, when I talked him out of your office, they told me. No, that's if once we do the study and there's going to be hardware improvements, you're looking at thirty to fifty thousand dollars per right. intersection to do any modifications to the signals. Oh. If the study so if, proves if the study that proves that you can then we split change it, then that's probably what the box are. Well, but the actual study was forty seven hundred dollars. If you can get that updated, I think we can award this because we do have some money in the credit. You know, the sure. money we use for Washington, Oakland. I don't think it or forty seven hundred is not too bad. There's little no. monies that so for both of these. Uh, yeah. At the end of the bond, we can reappropriate the less the, the, the money left at the at the okay. end of the bond. I'll get an update. So I'll get an update one. Now let's do it. Okay. So, <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Forty-seven. Right. Uh, uh, both intersections. Uh, next one. Okay. Um, I actually don't have any items that are going to affect this in the next week, so I'll just give you an update on where we stand on some of the projects. And I was looking through emails, so I apologize if I duplicate something Bob says. I was trying to find that proposal. Um, the VFW parking lot that we were or playground, we did do deed research and it refers to a plan prepared by Clancy and Associates. We are trying to reach out to Clancy to get a copy of that plan because the deed doesn't match the tax map, which tax maps just for assessment purposes. So we're trying to find the actual deed and it meets and bounds. So we're working on that. Clancy's supposed to be getting something to us soon. Um, Bob was talking about how um, I believe we started survey last week, so as soon as we get base plans, we we'll submit those to utility companies, and then we'll begin our design on that. Um, the elevator we talked about being ready to go out to bid at the end of this month. Uh, Bassett Grand, I believe the solicitor was talking about, he's in negotiations with the easements on that. 
South Oakland, we had the pre-construction meeting on the 14th, gave the notice to proceed for July 17th with the, with the completion date of September 15th. Uh, we're currently in the shop drawing phase and I believe the surveyor is going to be, the contractor surveyor has to go out and lay out and do uh, cut sheets with the curb work. I think they're going to be doing that. Uh, I don't know if they're done with that work yet or not, but that's the next step for that. Uh, I did talk, talk to the contractor today. Uh, we're actually working on another project with them in another town, and they don't see any issue with being done by September 15th. That's uh, good. They're actually hoping to be able to get done by September 1st, so it doesn't interfere with school, but you can't make any promises to me. Uh, That's the only school that would involve would be St. Teresa's, right? Well, so, it's just that when school starts, it affects traffic oh, around, all around. All yeah, around. Yeah. So, better if we get it done, but you can't guarantee it that he's not liable to do that. Uh, but he's going to try. Uh, the master plan and the redevelopment study, um, with the master plans at 90% done, the redevelopment study is 60% done. Last month I said that Steve Bach would be at the July planning board meeting, but the chairperson requested that we come in August because she was on vacation in July. So Steve will be at the planning board meeting in August to discuss both of those studies. Um, the parking lot, <coughs> excuse me, out here, all the punch list work is done except for some planning items. And the, the contractor asked if they could replant in the fall uh, just because it's not the best time of year to be putting in plan, brand new uh, plants. So they're going to do that in the fall when the weather is better. Um, we, last month we did the change order for the phase one of this project so that all the paperwork was done. I believe we're closing that out. We're just waiting on some bonds. I believe there's some minor punch list work for the phase board was coming off. Uh, we had public works fix that. I think they, 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 they okay. it was minor. Okay. How are you making that we're moving that Verizon line? I've seen a lot of emails that's, go back and forth. That's what I, I have a question mark next to that. I want to look at Harry for that. <laughs> Do you know anything about it? Uh, uh, actually, I'm still getting the runaround. Uh, from Verizon? Yeah. Or yeah. from no, Liberty? Verizon. or Verizon. Well, Verizon, we sent them a check, so what's the... Who do I call? Who do we send the check to? Mr. Kelly. And Mr. Kelly had given us two names, and we have tried now. I have Liberty Technology trying to get someone to respond. She has received no response from either of those people. So today I spoke to Jerry, who handles our phone, whole phone system. He has a contact with, and his, his take is that Verizon won't deal with anyone other than line systems. So he's trying to get a big wave from line mm -hmm. systems to deal with Verizon. I'm getting a contact for you to try to make a contact with Verizon. You can try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really but Jerry's supposed to get back to me as soon as he hears it. This has been three weeks of my friend. Oh, yeah. So you can tell me who we sent the check to. Where's his name and address? Well, he sent us a letter. That's amazing. Second half. Nice. Second half. Yeah, yeah, clearly. I mean, they forced us to do it. I had to get the. It's, it's ridiculous. I had to get the orders to sign off on it, and then they. Uh, okay. Uh, Thank you, Len. The slip line project is substantially nice complete. They're dealing with some punch list items with some laterals, and we're still reviewing the payout because there are some things we're going to pull out of that application. I do hope to get that to you before the next council meeting. And the South Oakland emergency sewer line, we took care of all the change orders for that. And Harry is continuing to monitor the trench out there uh, until we get that road paved. And I talked about that earlier. But that's Lambert, right? That's he's, Lambert. He's okay. He did offer to come out early and put temporary paving down, but there'd be a cost associated with that. And I said, if we were trying to pay a cost, it would have been two months ago. So uh, there are just the public works garage, um, 
I did find out because we submitted the H, uh, HDSRF, that kept us in compliance for the 2000 deadline that we talked about before. Okay. We do have a meeting scheduled with Pannoni early August. I don't know the date. I think it's August 1st or 2nd. But we're just trying to figure out what's the next step uh, to stay in compliance. And I will update you. Well, Joyce and I had a very nice uh, meeting with the uh, was it the regional director? The regional director of the DEP came to the borough and went over all the different things that we're doing. So she was, once again, offering any assistance. And she knows that it, the onus is on us to provide all the information that the LSRP is supposed to do. But okay. she was very nice. The regional she was the regional director of the DEP. Was that her title or what was her title? I have a card back to the office. Okay. I'll, I'll check with you. Who was her name? Oh, uh, Carrie, well, yeah, P L U G H. Yeah, P L U G H. Carrie, R E R. Just explain to me what's wrong with the public works garage. Former one. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know yeah. the former one. Really, Eleanor? <laughs> this is like this is like 30 years ago. I mean, what has it got to do with us now? Really? 30 years ago, oil tanks were taken out improperly. And so we are now responsible to clean it up properly. How's that? <laughs> that's that's all the updates I have. Anything on the, the lots? You're skipping that one. That's what I, I need to get that that's done. That's on me, and I'm working on it. Because I was just talking to the. Uh, Who do you talk to? No, water is. Uh, Nice guy next door. I told him that was on the plane. Nice that. Yeah, he came and saw us. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> we told him that we're trying to get this finished. Yes. Get that curve and sign. Yeah, we are. Okay. So Anything else? That's it. Are oh, you good? Oh. Look at you. Thanks, Mark. Okay. Uh, is there any other business? Uh, I'd like to. I just want to reiterate on the garden. So Monday morning, you will talk to Fred and you will talk to yes. everyone up there. And, uh, I'll have Linda design a little simple design of what we want to put there. She should measure the area. Yeah. Okay. She should show the sidewalk. I'll go ahead, Lord. And then figure it out. Um, I just want to mention that Sandy Kleehammer's sister-in-law died this week. Candy. Candy. Yes. Candy. Candy. Candy's sister-in-law, Sylvia Kleehammer. I was wondering if that was... Yes. And the uh, funeral is five to eight at Gardner's this morning. So it just didn't. Yeah, if we can go, yeah. You know, Candy was, was, was very close. Was it her husband's uh, sister? She was a young Yeah, 46 years old. Well, it might have been her husband's. Oh, from a kid's family? Brothers. It's her sister. Well, her, brother, her brother's wife. Yeah. Died. She had requested to, to rent the JFK for her. Right? Oh, for yeah, and believe it or not, that's the only thing I planned it. I had to remember Come on, it. Man. Can you believe it? Okay, let's get to the good welfare portion of the meeting. Uh, this portion of the meeting is open to the public. Anyone wishing to speak, please come to the microphone, state your name and address. I have a statement I have to read. Uh, our attorney has advised us that we cannot prevent you from making comments about our employees. He has also requested we advise you that our employees are not public officials and you are not immune from civil actions they may bring as a result of your remarks. Please come to the way. Al Collins, I'm 31 North Oakland Avenue. Patty, do we have the bus coming for the seniors at Ronson House for uh, night out? For National Night Out, yes, they will be coming for National Night Out. Right, yeah. say about 6 30 ish? Or yes, it seven. starts at 7 o'clock, it'll be. The quarter about six thirty. About six thirty. Okay. And then we'll also have them for the um, for the um, the string bands on August twenty third, and that'll be for six thirty. Also. Yeah. So you can kind of prep them, you know. Okay. Do you have anything about the band or what will be there? There'll be Hegeman String Band on. 20th. Oh, the band. Oh, are you talking about National Night Out? Yes. Oh, it's Father Joe. He's going to be yeah. our DJ. Oh. Yes, so please pass that around. <laughs> yes, he's, he's, he's excellent. He's funny and he'll get... It, I hope we have a lot of kids because he'll get those kids dancing. Yeah. 
Okay. And, yeah. and just the usual, where we'll have local businesses. Local, we'll have businesses, we'll have lots of food, food lots of giveaways, give lots of fun. Very good. Okay. Yeah. So I'll get them started yes. on that. Thank you, Val. And just a quick question on the new playground. Uh, what's the, yes, yes. <laughs> what's the maintenance on that? Well, like basically like yeah, anything, they're, they're, they're you know, meant to withstand the weather and all. We, we just have to inspect it periodically for damage on, like from somebody causing damage. They, they, yeah. Nothing should happen to these things, but we're going to, and we've been, um, we actually been closer with the insurance companies now to where we're, you know, they've been coming out more than their once a year. So now we're going to be pretty much on top. Now that Harry knows the system, now everything's working with them and the insurance, and he's working very close with the insurances. Um, we, uh, we're going to have a lot more maintenance on, on all our stuff out there. Okay, because it's been a while since mine have been the grandkids been running there. But back when, they were always missing bolts. And I don't know how many times I've called about that. Yeah, they, uh, there's definitely yeah, well, insurance a little different than yeah we're, we're definitely on on it more the insurance companies are on it more uh, so it's it definitely should be better very good and very nice the kids will enjoy thank you thank you thank you thank you Val. anyone else sure why not why not why not hi there 918 east Connors bridge road I would like to thank Mayor and Council for all their support with the green team and all that we're doing with the gardens and invite you all to September 16th, our green fair and 5K run. Really? That's for you, the Mayor. That's a fact. I will run it. 5K run is at 8 o'clock, providing your approval for that as well. Absolutely. That was all. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Patty. Anyone else? Anyone know it? No one else? Is there a motion to close the public portion? I so move. I'll second that motion. Motion by Ms. Kelly, second by Ms. Pascio. All in favor? Aye. All right, public portion is closed. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll, I'll second that motion. Motion by Mr. Root, second by Ms. Pascio. All in favor? 